Hi friends! Today's project is to make this lovely fishing lure embellishment. Get ready to go. Go outside and watch. Sorry guys. Um, this is the embellishment we're making for Father's Day and this is the challenge for today. Um, this is a fake hook and a lure. Um, you can make these sturdier with sturdy wire and actually be usable and um, have your own hook that you could pick up from the, the you know, har um, not a hybrid store, like uh, Walmart. Uh, the Dollarama does have hooks. I'm not sure how great they are. Um, wherever you get your Bass Pro or wherever. I don't know where all the other places that you guys go to in the States or whatever. But um, the project today is an embellishment for, say, a card, a tag, whatever. So this is the card. Um, and I have, like I said, a faux hook, and so how this is how we're going to learn how to do this today. So, what I have to start off this card is these bottle caps. They can be pop bottle caps, any kind of bottle caps that Dad likes. Um, I have 20 gauge wire for today's project. You can use whatever gauge you'd like. That is, um, you look at fishing lures and you see what's you know what kind of metal thickness, but they're about this. Thick. Um, you can get a nice stronger metal. Um, this one is uh, like 20 gauge hardware wire, galvanized or whatever. So, first of all, we're going to bend the hook, the bend a loop, and wrap it around a good few times here. Um, using your tools or um, trying to remember stay in sight so you have this ah. keeping it straight of course I'm making a mess here and of course my first one I just did and I deleted my video because I was like hmm fooling around too much here anyways Snip away from your eyes, snipping down towards your paper, whatever, or you wear goggles, whatever makes you safe, right? So this is the beginning of this. Of course, like I said, my first one was really good. Um, then you just choose what colors you want to put with your, um, sorry, with your bottle caps. So I have uh, here chosen some pink which not really guy color but hey whatever actually I'm going to choose the silver I have here I have silver I'm using used beads so this is a good recycling um, you know use your used beads and uh, have fun with it just playing around kind of thing I'm just gonna squish this together more here you guys might think I'm going crazy but it's a little I wasn't winding it up quite properly So I can just trim that down after here. And there. So I'm using this um, one bead here. I'm going to use a yellow bead. And I'm going to go oh, maybe another yellow bead. Um, I think I have two silver, so I'm going to go with a silver now. And then I'm going to have, like, I have two sets of silver so I can make a pattern. And there we go. So I have yellow, silver, yellow. You grab your, your cap, you put the hole in the top and the bottom. And I'm sorry, guys, I did the hole just before. I should have probably did it um, again on the video. But I just, oops, there goes my video. Great. Sorry, guys. I used my little hammer here. Um, a little little hammer um, great for my wrists it's not too heavy and I just hammered my little pokey th po tool through you can hammer nail whatever and I actually did it on the, the, the notebook just a little hammer I didn't have to go too deep because it's just it's not very strong metal so put that through and that's how you make your embellishments you just put it through you can make these into little pins um, for dad's cap 
you know, make a little fishing hat, make a little faux lures. So anyways, now I'm going to go um, with a pattern of, first I'm going to start with the yellow this time, and then I'm going to go to silver. Red is always popular, red and silver. Dads like to have red and silver or red and yellow if they're fishermen because those are supposed to be the colors that really attract the fish with lures. Um, <laughs> I love fishing, so I kind of, yeah. There. So. I thought this was a cool project. Um, I could make it a little bit better, guys. I'm so sorry. Anyways, so this is the beginnings of our lure. Then you just grab it again, making it a loop again. And down. Grabbing my other pliers just to pull it very tightly and wrapping it around. Mommy? And wrap. Oh, I'm busy. Yes. Oops, guys, I'm sorry, I'm not in the frame again. So I'm wrapping it around, and that's about it. And again, snipping it away from you. And you can just fix it up. Um, these are not really perfect eye pieces. I'm making them really big. Um, and... Um, kind of messy right now. I'm not sure why. It's because the video is going and that's like one of those things that always happens. You can make such beautiful work and then as soon as you get the video going to show everybody how you do it, <laughs> it doesn't quite work as good. So, as well. That's about it. So now I'm trying to make it like I bent this a little bit so it looks a little off but Because it should have a little bit of movement. Definitely, definitely made it a little bit funny here. But anyways, so this is how you you get you play around to get your you know, a lot of you guys are really good jewelry makers. I'm not a really good jewelry maker, so and I haven't done this in a little while, wrapped wire, so that's really a bad excuse, but I've done it. <laughs> I've done it. Alright, so this is the basics of it. And then you have your faux hook, which is a smaller version of your wire, which I don't have a gauge on there that's telling me what it is, but I like to do a smaller version of it to make the faux hook. Another thing is to make the piece here that you hook it together, I just take the 20 gauge, wrap it around here, around my my um, needle nose pliers or whatever these, the bending ones, and then I just grab my piece and kind of snip my spring piece apart and then I have a couple of links. So that's how I make my links so then I don't have to keep buying them for these projects, especially if it's not like uh, a real jewelry project and then I just have my link like this and put it together. So it's really nice for these little, I'm hoping I'm in the, in the, in the, in the frame. So then you have your little dangle and you can make these into keychains as well guys. This is just an embellishment for Father's Day so this is the you know, you can just use your imagination on what you want to use it for. So you don't have to put a hook on there. You can put the little key ring. I had a little key ring here. You can put the little key ring on here. Here's a little key ring. You can put one on there and have the little thing like that. But So to make this again, I'm just going to... I actually made it away from it. So I'm actually just going to go keep twisting. This wire is really small, so it doesn't want to stay um, on there, but that's okay. So then you just make your faux hook. You twist it a few times. You bend your your hook, and 
I like to put it behind the paper and tape it on the back and then you have your little faux hook. Um, you put it on your little piece here that I just closed because yeah I needed something else to do and you hook it on and close it up. Ah, I see him out of the picture. Sorry guys. And then you have your faux lure for Father's Day. Oh, that is so cute. So give it a try guys. Sorry about the wiggling the wire and bending it up but I don't know it always seems to happen. But you can put it on your card. Um, you can put it on the fridge. Put a magnet behind it. Um, have little um, polymer clay fish on there. Whatever you know. Have a little Anything thing like that would be really cute. So give it a try, guys, and um, have some fun with this Father's Day little embellishment. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.